Of all places to work, why? So my dress is a bit see-through. I've come to buy my best friend a book for her little one. Have you found something, babe? Lomo, Pammy, Baywatch. I've got so much sand and mud in my throat because Mackenzie insisted on kicking it. Oh my god. It's kind of embarrassing but kind of amazing. A little flip on the old wrist. Oh, sure, sorry. Just got in trouble. Of all places to work, why are you doing it in your house? Because From a we, bathtub. We, no, but there's, we were just doing a picture in here, and so then I started getting emails. But we have to get ready for dinner. She's got a champagne. It's comfy, babes. And a bathtub. Good morning from our farmhouse. It's a bit of a grey day, but I kind of love that. And Netaporte gave us this invitation to sports day today. I feel very spoiled. Um, Olivia Von Halle personalised PJs. Some sports stuff. I've got some shorts. A cute um, little cotton top. I'm going to show you guys all these outfits. But also this box of beauty goodies. And um, I've been wanting to try one of these sheet masks for ages. It's Charlotte Tilbury and it's actually dry. Which sounds very interesting. I am off to sports day. Wish me luck. Decked out in my sports kit. About to do Voga. So this is the location for Voga. Voga is a very serious sport. Yeah. You look amazing. Where is Mackenzie? What? Is he doing this no, one? he skipped. What? <laughs> What's gonna be your approach to Vogue, babe? I'm just gonna do the most. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Madonna. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna like, go all out. Like, okay. I feel like we are, like, the better it's gonna be. Go big or go home. Yeah, exactly. Got it. Yes, girl. Vogue it, Vogue it. That was um, interesting. But quite exhausted. But <laughs> hula class is about to begin. Very good. Very good. showing off now. <laughs> yeah, now you look like you suck. Who sucks? Someone's gonna lose their eye. Yes, Louis. Oh, I love this. And then have whatever time. Yummy. Yeah. Very English. By the fire. Lunch a porter lunch boxes. You. The eyes.
Okay, so we're halfway through sports day and it's really close whether we're the winning team or not. So we're just warming up for the sack race, which is actually a handbag. dinner and I found my bike. I mean how adorable is that? That is not your bike That's mister. So cycle. I'm going to tap that. <laughs> hey, who wants to come to my class? Yeah. English summer, it is a bit chilly. So I've got my, my chunky knit and my leather trousers. But this, I mean this is so beautiful. I want to live here. Look at the lavender dr driveway. Just giving you a bit of a tour of our farmhouse. It's a beautiful old 18th century actual farmhouse that's been a bit restored and is my dream home when we move back to England. These beautiful old doors, local farmer. Local farm hand at the door. Check out the table. Um, this is the dining room table. Christmas there with the fire kitchen so we're just going to go outside it's actually freezing um, but obviously wearing shorts and a crop top to pretend it's not <laughs> do a little little blog shoot oh god it's raining as well imagine you know, what happens in the countryside <laughs> yeah. all right should we focus on the uh, flowers and stuff the living things can you put the umbrella on me please not just you <laughs> I'm freezing this is my festival look, wellies, brolly, which is English for boots and umbrella, shorts, and now I just need a hot cup of tea. Just had breakfast. Look at these beautiful wildflowers. Um, Mackenzie's insisting that I go on a boat. Oh, That's this the pool. Cool. Look at the pool, you see? Oh, I see. Oh wow, look at that! Yeah, it goes indoors, outdoors. There she is on a maiden voyage. Oh god. <laughs> Maybe it's not. Just it's funny now. And let go. Now start rowing. Should I? Babe, get your oars out of the dishes. <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna let you go. Stop. Oh, I've got some unwanted cargo. You're back all weed, babe. Right, you're off. Are you getting in? Well, you've just sailed off! <laughs> toad of toad hall, wind in the willow! Louise has to try and dock. Oh. Sit further back on the actual chair, you can do it so you easily. Me to sit here. Come on. I might have to back it in. Back it up, back it up, like a dumper truck. Hey, this is not easy. It's because you're sat really weird in it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a more super row in my life. Look at Tekka's is shambles. Shambolic. Here, I, make, I made it. Thought I'd take us back to London. Um, pimp my ride. Start her up. Let's hear the engine tuck, pal. Uh, uh. <laughs> going to do a shoot and have a nice walk actually at Pulse and Lacey which is a National Trust property. Very pretty isn't it? Mackenzie's mum is, li is lying down in the back of the car so that she's not on camera. <laughs> so we got you! It's a sea of gold. Look at all of this. Goldy, goldy, goldy. It's my mother. Doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> no, I don't. Take it away. <laughs> Run! 
<laughs> so my dress is a bit see-through. But it's all right for a shoot. I just don't want, you know, dog walkers and the such to see. And the bushes. Okay. <laughs> One of the things I love most about England is that you can go and look at these gorgeous old homes built purely to have parties in um, by this very wealthy lady. So kind of a badass and she has this amazing spiral staircase that she used to whoosh down and she built it so that um, she could make her grand entrance at the parties. Makes me want to move back to England. Although the weather is not like this all the time. Garden inspo to the max. Every corner you turn is just stunning. Look at this. Morning guys, we are leaving England in a couple of days, which I'm really sad about, but um, it's still beautiful weather and I thought I would show you around the village where I grew up. We need to go in there today um, and it's super cute, countryside and I'd show you a few fun things about my childhood. It's so embarrassing. Huh? Nothing. Chairing it up for the local states, isn't it? <laughs> 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 oh, oh. Let's go tear up the local village. I actually worked in about three different pubs around here when I was um, and you got fired school from and uni. I didn't, oh, I did get fired actually from a, a, an Italian restaurant down there, but the guy was a creep, he was horrible. He so told you me, got fired on purpose, He right? told me off for wearing a black bra. That's, that's sexual harassment. So we seem to have gravitated to the booze section. The quintessential summer English drink, Pims, and you mix it with lemonade and all sorts of fruit and fresh lime and things, so I think that's a must. My second favourite aisle in any supermarket has got to be the salty snacks department. Not so much of a sweet tooth, but show me a chip. I'm in. Those are good. Those are even better. Oh, hula hoop! Oops. This is the bookshop um, where, as a kid, I would geek out because I love books and being a bit of a bookworm. I've come to buy my best friend a book for her little one. Have you found something, babe? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Picture book. This particular area right here. I, I was, had to do a geography assignment once when I was at school. I think I was about 11 or 12 and it involved um, doing like questionnaires on members of the public. And I stood here for about 45 minutes. That's probably an exaggeration. And no, everyone walked past me, no one would do my questionnaire. So, so you failed so, geography? No, I gave up, made up all the answers and got an A. Yeah. We've just come into the woods, which are beautiful actually. The sun's about to set. We're gonna do a quick shoot because I'm hosting a class at Physique 57 when I get back to LA, which is a bar class, which I love in Beverly Hills. So I need to try and pretend that I'm looking sporty in England, even though I haven't worked out for about two weeks. So we're gonna do the pick. I'm gonna pretend to slow my jog, pretend to like, just pose and stretch, and then we'll do a boomerang. And do I get some supper after that? Yeah, you get a beer. All right, give me a 360. Oh you! God, real jog. How do you like them apples? Go on, give us some jogging tins. Oh, right. Slow mo. Pammy, Baywatch. I've got so much sand and mud in my throat because Mackenzie insisted on kicking it into the air so that he could do a boomerang and it made me choke. Yeah. Why do, why do boys have to kick everything? 
You know when you go to the beach, they kick and you throw kick sand. Can you kick it for a boomerang? Please, can you not do it again, though? Sorry. Yeah. Close your, close your mouth. But I am loving England. Such a great country. Sure the <laughs> England slash. Ah, you will, yeah. The yeah, Serengeti. Do you know what? This is one of Louise's nerdy comments, but why There's I a love. Few. Yeah. There are. But why I love wood so much, apart from obviously being beautiful and peaceful. But it's like the, they have not changed the way they look for hundreds of years. So this could literally be like Robin Hood Game of Thrones, couldn't it? This is Game of Thrones. Or some lady, or some lady could like ride by in her dress riding side saddle in the 1800s. I just love that. We are off to the first day of Wimbledon tennis today and we're very excited. Who are you excited to see? He's not Murray's biggest fan. I like Murray though. It's the Evil Suite. Here we are. Oh my gosh. That's very cool. It's a candy bar. It's a candy bar. Oh, there's fudge, babe. You love fudge. No, uh, more about the lobster. Do you want some fudge? Oh, I might have a drumstick, because that's old school. I used to eat these when I was little, when I worked in the sweet shop. And milk bottles! I love how we've got here before anyone else, so we can get to it first. <laughs> here we are, at Wimbledon. And this is very exciting, there's the order of play. Flip on the old wrist, don't want to shine up, did I? cut a ball that came out of the, <laughs> these kids. These kids caught the ball and thought they could keep it. And Mackenzie went no, over no, and no, said, no. no, 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 you're not allowed to keep the tennis That's ball. That's Andy Murray's ball. <laughs> so behind me is what they used to call Henman Hill and now they call Murray Mound. Um, oh, sure, sorry, just got in trouble. Keep, walk and talk. There's the big screen. And most important of all, just over there, is the Pim's tent. Number one court yeah. will not be empty for long. Face no, I'm excited to go back to LA, but this has been the best, best trip back to England. It's getting cold here. I want more sun. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the vlog. Just wait for the next video.